I'm fighting back the tears right now because that's my baby, you know. And um, for this kind of thing to happen to him, it's just you grow up hearing about it, but you don't. When it happens to you, it kind of hits home. What happened to her stepson, Kenneth Walker, was the complete destruction of his home. Last week, Kenneth, the only black firefighter at his North Tonawanda Fire Company, found a racially charged threat stuffed into his mailbox. Two days later, his house was burned down. Walker's neighbor has since been arrested and charged with arson, but police are still searching for who may be behind that racially charged note. Through it all, though, the community has come together to show their support and donate what they can to help the walkers. There's not a lot of hate in this town, um, as you can see um, from here and you know from across the country. Ken Walker and his family have something to smile about, feeling the amount of support and love from complete strangers. The North Tonawanda volunteer firefighter and his family spent the day collecting donations from people all over western New York as they tried to rebuild a home. My jaw dropped. I mean, it's just it's a it's a lot from you know, from everywhere, not just here, but, you know, across the country. There's, you know, stories that's made national news, world news. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot. The story Walker is referring to is his, one that shocked and saddened Western New York and the nation. Monday, Walker says he received a folded up letter in his mailbox attacking his race and service as a volunteer fireman. The letter made a clear threat, leave this department or else. Then Wednesday, the Walkers found their home had been torched, flames swallowing everything they owned. Thursday, police arrested Walker's neighbor, 39-year-old Matthew Gerardo, for setting his home on fire. But police say Gerardo wouldn't admit to writing the letter. There's still a lot of unanswered questions, still a lot of things that we need to uh, try to resolve and figure out. North Tonawanda police, with the help of the FBI, are still trying to find out who's behind the letter. It's a nerve that's been touched for Ken's stepmother, Patricia Walker. Just please, people, wake up. Wake up and stop all this hate. Just stop the hate. But if there's been one thing that hasn't been a mystery, it's been the love shown for the Walker family, which rang true today as people from all over unloaded trucks full of furniture, baby toys, clothes, food, and anything that could help this family know there are always those who care. First and foremost, I want to make sure that my family gets reestablished and that we, you know, we move forward.